Uh, Chris says, how are you currently ranking your directory website, Tree Care HQ, for multiple locations since you use two different domains? Okay, so I made a mistake, guys, about, I don't know, a year and a half ago maybe now where I, I started to mix, and it, it caused what I call brand pollution, right, or entity ambiguation, um, where I had – I wanted to develop local lead gen assets and piggyback off of the Tree Care HQ brand, but I shouldn't have done that. And so I made a mistake. And that's why, in, in, in other words, I started to build Tree Care HQ local uh, projects. So some of them have GBPs. And, um, but the problem is that Tree Care HQ is a marketing agency and a directory site. And so when I started creating Tree Care HQ local locations, some had GMBs or Google Business Profiles. What happened was, my GBPs on the local level, because I had more of those, I only had one GBP for my directory and it was listed as a marketing agency. But then I had several GBPs out there with as Tree Care HQ plus the city name. That's what I call Tree Care HQ local. And those were tree service sites that were set up to generate leads for tree service contractors in that local area. And uh, what happened was over time, it ended up, first of all, it caused my GBP for the marketing agency, Tree Care HQ, to be suspended. And then number two, um, which is no big deal. I'm not all that worried about it. Other than it was an entity validator, I'm not really all that worried about it because I don't need a GBP for a directory site, a national directory site, but it is an entity validator. So that would have been helpful to keep, but it got suspended. So, but then also I found that it cannibalized, like the, 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 Google isn't quite sure about what Tree Care HQ is. So I, because is it is it a tree service company or is it a marketing agency? And that's an odd combination. And so I made the mistake on that. And so I I when I when I realized that, which it took months for that to, to surface, for that kind of pollution to occur and for it to have a an effect that was detrimental even to the directory. And so um, so then I switched. I still have I still have a number of those assets out there, the local Legion assets, because I just haven't had the time to switch them over to the Felling Pro domain or brand. But when I, uh, plus I was using the Felling Pro domain as just a test domain for for very stuff that I've been testing now for local site structure and all that uh, category and topic optimization and all the stuff that I've been teaching about the last two years. Um, Felling Pro was one of the domains I was testing with, uh, one of the brands that I was using to test that with. So anyways, long story short, um, I realized that you should have two separate entities, one for your directory brand and your agency, and then one specifically for lead gen assets that you create. And that's why Felling Pro became that. And so, um, like I said, I've even started, I've only done it with one so far, where I've taken one of my Tree Care HQ local sites and GBPs and converted it to, to Felling Pro. Um, and so, anyway, the, the, to answer your question, how are you currently ranking your directory Tree Care HQ? Remember, I'm not trying to rank the directory for generic keywords. What I'm trying to rank the directory for are brand searches for, for the companies that are on the directory. So hopefully that's clear. The, the local lead gen brand, that's what I call the LLG brand, local lead gen brand, is uh, Felling Pro. And Felling Pro is now where I've started building. I've only got, I think, five or six locations or sites out. I don't have any GBPs. Well, I got one GBP for it, only one. Um, and I'm, I don't plan on getting GBPs under the Felling Pro brand, guys. I just converted one of my existing Tree Care HQ local GBPs to Felling Pro. Um, but I don't plan on doing that. The directory hybrid agency model is not about spamming GBPs. It's about building organic lead gen assets that then you promote to companies in that area where it's ranking, and then you assign or rent that site to them, and they have a valid GBP that can be re-verified, reinstated, et cetera, if, because it's a real valid business location. I'm tired of working in Google Business Profiles on spammed listings because that is – why would anybody – years ago when we could get away with it for, it for long term, now it's so difficult to manage and maintain GBPs that are spammed. That I don't want to waste any more time on that shit, guys. I just don't. I'm tired of it. I've been doing this long enough. I don't want to work on stuff that Google can pull the rug out from underneath me at any given moment. So the, the DHA model is about having a local lead generation brand that you use to build organic assets in low competition areas. And then you promote those assets to businesses in that area that have poor search performance. Or they might have good GBP performance, but no organic. And you can assign, and then you rent them the sites very inexpensively, guys. I'm running my sites out for ninety nine dollars a month, straight up ninety nine bucks a month. I know everybody in the ranking rent business model say, "Oh, you can build this and rent it out for five hundred, a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks a month." Okay, great. How many of you are successful with that model? A very tiny fraction of you. But do you think you can rent a site out for hundred bucks a month that is performing very well in organic search? 
if you go target those low competition areas, yeah, come on, guys, think about it. Then you make it up in volume. And these are sites that require damn near no, especially if you build up in high level, no maintenance at all. And most of these sites, if you do your keyword and competition research properly, you can identify areas that these sites are going to rank with damn near no backlinks at all. No kidding. Like, I'm not kidding. I got examples where I keep sharing in the mastermind. About how, and, and I teach exactly, by the way, the DHA program teaches you specifically how to do keyword and competition research to identify these low competition areas. Why do we as SEOs always want to go out and target the hard areas with the high search volume that, and it, and tell a client, we're going to get your results for, you know, top of page results in, you know, five or six months, just pay me 1500 bucks a month and blah, blah, blah. And then you're under enormous amount of pressure. Why? Why do we do that? You know, I've done it too, guys. I've, most of my career, I did the same thing. But I've got to a point in my career, I don't want to do that shit anymore. I would rather just go target low competition areas, sell them very inexpensive services that are going to produce results most of the time with no additional maintenance, no additional overhead, maybe a couple of links here and there, and that's it. And just make it up in volume because I got a good marketing and sales process in place, right? And, and just do it in volume. I'd rather have 300 clients paying me $100 a month, which is $30,000 a month in revenue, then 10 clients paying me $3,000 a month where I'm under the gun to perform 100% of the time. Does that make sense? Like, think about it. You make it up in volume with easy to fulfill, repeatable, duplicatable, scalable services. You're selling a guaranteed de deliverable, not a guaranteed result. But you can layer on, you know, performance-based services if you want to add complexity to your business. But I'm at a point in my career, I don't want to do that. Anymore. You know what I mean? I'd rather work on the hard SEO shit for my own businesses and then work on selling services that are, you know, foundational stuff that people need um, and doing that in volume at low prices. So it makes it easier to sell, if that makes sense. So anyway, the tree care HQ directory site is about ranking for brands. And then I use that when I get a client that becomes a primary link building target with their budget because I use their directory page on my site, my directory site as one of the primary link building targets that I'm using their budget to build links to. Does that make sense? So I'm benefiting my asset on their behalf, but using their budget to do it, right? And I'm benefiting from it as well. And so, and then Felling Pro is the same thing. Felling Pro is I'm going out and identifying low competition areas, building sites. When they rank, then I pitch to those contractors in that area, then rent them that site. And now they're, if I need to build any links to it, it's going to be their budget that I'm building links to. I'm only renting them the site. They don't, they don't get to buy it. If they want to take it with them, then fine. They can sign up to a high level through my affiliate link and I'll push it into their high level account. And they're at $97 a month high level, they pay 40% recurring commissions. They're still gonna pay me $40 a month for that website, even after they leave. Does that make sense? So um, Felling Pro is my LLG brand. Tree Care HQ is my directory brand. That's what I teach in the DHA agency now is to come up with both. And um, and again, it's, it's, it's amazing. We've got a very small group in the first phase one of the DHA program. And um, we've got several people out there, several people in the group that already have, you know, three to five sites that they built. Some have many more and uh, that are all that have got page one rankings already. So they've got targeted assets that they can use to pitch to contractors, companies, et cetera, in that area. So hopefully that's good.